Cheers. Cheers. Okay, go ahead, guys. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. LT, go ahead. Welcome to the show, guys. Another edition of Surviving the Badge here at the bar. And cheers. Cheers. I know when to wait. <laughs> John, what's the best pizza in the world? A Jersey pizza. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're gonna, tonight we're going to be talking about Title 42. Huge in the news right now. Obviously, it plays a lot into politics and everything else. But it actually affects our safety here at home big time. And so let's get back to that in just a minute. All right. All right. So I want to do, I want to do a, a, a shout out for one of my former students and I did this before I'm gonna do it again because I'm so very proud of her it's like a proud daddy I am I, I, I really am and like, like a, a shocked shock proud daddy yeah <laughs> I am right I'm like what you're going to the academy okay <laughs> <Little bitty thing. laughs> I know oh anyway and so, she got hired not only the academy yes, she, got yeah, she got hired new officer Daytona PD officer Alvarez congrats and welcome to the family welcome to the family kiddo like and subscribe <laughs> if you want to know about good cop stuff. So, let me ask you this. I, uh, I, I gave her two pieces of advice. And I'm not going to ask you what I, what I gave, but I will tell you. So I said, don't fuck up. Right? And don't do it alone. I said, you're going to see a lot of shit out there. Don't do this alone. If you need help, reach out. So, I thought that was good advice. Okay, okay. let me give you a third piece of advice. Don't... <laughs> Don't shit where you eat. Mm. Don't be dating people and getting in, in, involved with people that you work with. Take that shit outside. Yeah, good call. Good call. All right, so All right. fallen officers this year, uh, 41 uh, officers fall, fallen in the line of duty. And this was as of last week, right? Yeah, yep, yeah. as of last week. And um, in the line of duty deaths. They're all down except for deaths by other, and that's up 200%. We're talking about... Um, Anything uh, other than a car crash, right, yep. gunfire, fight, yeah, medical, stabbing. So we're medical. talking about drownings, we're talking about slip and falls, falling off of buildings, on all the bridge. Yeah, all that kind of stuff. So to all of our fallen officers, we love you. And, and their families, God, God bless all of you. Yes. Salute. All right, With that, John, what do we got? We got a beer moment. What? Beer I just kind of ruined it for myself. Well, <laughs> well, I, well I, I, I don't normally drink it. You're right. Before, um, it's a Island Citrus Ale, Isla Morada Ale, um, by the Isla Morada Beer Company. Camille got this for us tonight. It's, yeah, figured I'd change it up a little bit. I, color, I'm enjoying but, it. It's not as bad. It's not as good as last week. Holy crap! That shit was yeah. Amazing. That one John brought last, last week. Yes, was amazing. Sun Bliss, I think. It was. Sun Bliss, mm -hmm. yeah. Now this is clearer. It's clearer, but it's lacking flavor. I think. I think it has a flavor, but it has. I think it has a little <sighs> deeper flavor, like a like you can't drink it as easily as last week. It's like furniture polish. What? Uh, no, I'm just kidding. It's not that bad. Um, not, I'll, not I'll start the rating. Thing. I'll start the rating. All right. No, go ahead. Yeah, it's not one I would want to be a drinking. Not more beer. Not a lot more beer. Hell no. Um, I'll start the rating at a 4.5. Ooh, I don't think it's that bad. Yeah, I don't like I'll it. give it a 5.3. <laughs> yeah, I, you know what? I'll give it a, a <laughs> five, five and a half. Good job. 5.3. <laughs> I can subscribe. I, I, hold on. Do that again. Go. So Title 42 was the federal law that allowed us to prevent people from coming into the country due to the pandemic with the COVID and say, no, we are protecting our country. We're not allowing anybody in. So, Which I, I will point out, under the previous administration, they actually utilized it. Right. Yeah. But they weren't really utilizing Title 42 under this administration. From what I understand, they weren't even checking people for COVID when no. they came in. No. Right. They weren't doing the beep, no. you know, the... But God forbid anything. you work for the federal government and not have a shot. Exactly. Yeah. So, but but, but ideally... Right. The idea, the idea was 
we could prevent people from coming into the United States because of Title 42. You right. know, my son works for a federal mm -hmm. agency. Yeah. And he refused to get vaccinated. Mm -hmm. So he had to go every week and, and, and or, I mean, he had to bring home a test <gasps> every week and take a picture of the negative result and send it to his supervisor before he can report. But that's work. over now, right? Because yeah, they, it is, it's over now. Yeah, but yeah, I'm just I saying. I mean, it was absolutely ridiculous. But man. can we can we say totalitarianism? Yeah, well, pretty and, much. And I want to point something out because I can't so, spell it. This is something say that it. has bothered me since this whole Title Forty Two thing became big news. You know, back when it was first instituted and all that stuff. Ellis Island. Yeah. Okay, you would travel here on a friggin' ship, right? And Cross, hope you can get in yep. with cholera, scarlet fever, frickin' everything else known to man, every disease known to man. And if you had anything, the fuck out. So they would send you back. They would send you. Well, you weren't allowed to enter the United States. Yeah, they would do the best they could to treat you there. They had an infirmary and then on Ellis Island where they treated you. Yeah. Okay. But you could not enter the general. The mainstream. The no, main, yeah. Ellis Island, New York or New Jersey? It's Jersey, buddy. The Statue of Liberty, New York or New Jersey? It's Jersey. <laughs> Everything apparently is in New Jersey. Well, Supreme Court says it's in Jersey. <laughs> oh, my God. Hold if on. If you don't know. If you don't know, our our resident sex appeal is from New Jersey. So, uh, f Title 42. Uh, Denville, New Jersey. Denville matters. I'm sorry? Denville, New Jersey. Oh, I heard you. And I'm Dendel just sorry. Matters. You know what I always love is I, I found this out a long time ago, and, and we're totally going off a script here. Um, New Jersey. LT, I know you know. What is New Jersey? You know how um, Florida is the sunshine state? What is New Jersey? The Garden State. Oh, you do know that. Look at He's that. pulled over more cars. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about on the tag, bro. What the hell? But, but apparently they do grow a lot of flowers. When's the last time you made a traffic stop? You, how many did you make? You can probably count on your like five years, like like three years into Let's his see, tenure. 1990, over. 1995 probably was the last time I. No, I actually I did a traffic stop when I was a detective. We that's how I arrested people. Yeah, then sometimes. he said, uh, "Can you call a patrol?" To no, I would just that? arrest him. I mean, I, I had a warrant. All right, so, so go ahead. Right, so battle forty two. Jesus expired at midnight last night. I know you guys are trying to be like me, but you can't. You know, with the interrupting, but that's okay. Um, I'm trying. <laughs> So, um, expired last night, and there's going to be a huge, massive influx of illegal migrants. And some liberals like I, I like to say, I, I always said, oh, e illegal aliens. Oh, people are illegal. Okay, let's go with criminal aliens because it's criminal. Yeah, yo, but no cross one's into a, our, no one's above the law. Oh yeah, except for people. Coming I, I can tell you, 14 million people who are above the law. Yeah, so um, let's talk about let's talk about a little bit of history. They're hiding so, the rocks. Whether you like whether you like President Trump or not, he instituted some things that actually draw, brought down the illegal immigration from from Mexico, and everything comes from Mexico. How many people? Sneak well, it comes in from through Canada. Mexico. It's right. Mexico. How many? No. Yeah, that's what I meant. Through Mexico. How many people sneak in from Canada? Six. No. Six no. Years? Actually, actually, that's become a, a huge problem. Where they're, now they're sending people up to the Canadian border to come back down. Yes. Because it's too cold. No. <laughs> no. They're finding that because all the attention was put on, so all the people we really don't want in. Yeah. Now they're going up to Canada because they can get into Canada, and then they migrate down. Because it's too cold. No, no. They want to get here. And this is your terrorist. Well, why, why, do, why would they not be, honestly, no, this is a good question. Why would they not want to be in Trudeau's Canada? Yeah, they, There's they have no guns. social medicine. They have social medicine. And I, I'm not going to get into a whole. So, <laughs> so, good beer. Good, great beer. Who said? Who said? Right. All right, hey. so you want me to show you a picture of the wall? It, um, yeah, so, so one of the things that um, Trump did, let, we're talking, to, talking about history, is... When he said, you know what, we are going to build a wall. So go ahead and put up a wall. And this is the construction of the wall by um, Donald Trump. And and they, and he was pretty good. It was pretty 
thoughtful of him. He went to Congress and we, I need this amount of money. And they're like, yeah, that's not going to happen. Oh, you know what? I got this all this extra money from the military. I'll just use that. And so we started the... It's national defense. National defense. Started the wall construction. Bought and all the equipment or all the materials. Yep. And paid for the construction of the wall. Out of money that uh, was already allocated. Well, right. I like this. Now he's interrupting you. I know. I love it. Wow. Right? What a transition. I guess it's, all, <laughs> I guess it's payback, so. Huh? <laughs> it is. That's all right. I'm good. Let's go. Feeling your thunder, Let's go, bitches. <laughs> no. Wait. Do, do I get to be sex appeal then? Next, no. Next yes. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> if you grow your mustache back. <sighs> it, it, it's going to come in all white, though, I don't bro. care. Who cares? <laughs> all right. Go ahead. All right. So uh, Trump started building the wall. Yeah. And and my, my notes here is I want to know anybody who is 100% open borders. A, do you have a fence around your house? Do you or do you live in a gated community and do you lock your doors at night? Yeah. Of course it's one of those three things. Absolutely. Why can't we do that with the country? And, and oh my god, that's so racist. Oh my god, it's just so xenophobic. Well, like that. and I, I haven't looked forward in your notes, and I don't know if you're going to get there. That's all right, John. Go ahead. Okay. Probably not. Bring, bring it! But we're talking about the wall, okay? And I know a lot of people are against the wall, and Trump kind of references with the purpose of the, the wall. They could be enacting 100% of the same policies that Joe Biden is using right now mm -hmm. with that wall in place. And it would have been a funnel. Yes. Yes. Right now it's a sieve. Right. Yep. Where we could say, okay, everyone's coming here. So they all got to go through, as Trump said, a giant door. Yep. But we can keep track of everyone who comes through the door. Yes. You don't have two million gotaways in two years. Yeah. That 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 we're estimating. So what is what is it what is a gotaway, John? A gotaway is someone they saw on camera, but were unable to apprehend. Put the habeas gravis on. So th they couldn't identify this person. That's a gotaway. Yes. Because they, they do have a lot of the video, the camera technology and out surveillance out there. But, you know, we just don't know who it was because he crossed the border in a place we weren't. And it, 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 it boggles my mind why we, why it's such a hot button issue to have the sovereignty of our country intact. Why can we not check to make sure the people that want to come in this country are okay to come in this country? Don't they have a fence around the White House? Yes. Don't and, they have yes. guards around the White House? You know what, pull up that picture. You know what, I sent you a picture. Uh, nice, you must right, not have pulled right. it up. Right. But I did pick, pull, uh, send you a picture of Joe Biden's beach house. Guess what it has around it? A fence? It has a wall around it and a fence. Oh. So our... I didn't our, get that, sorry. Oh, okay. Did his Corvette? Yeah, right. <laughs> no, that's our, for the documents are. Our okay. president <laughs> has around his beach yeah. house <laughs> a wall on one side and a fence around the other side. Yeah. Why? Why is that? To keep people out that you don't want in. Hey, I love, you know what, if I have somebody who's a, a physicist from Mexico or from India or whatever, I want them here. Absolutely. Absolutely. But you know what? I want to be able to check everybody. So do you at your houses leave your door open and anybody can come in they want to? No. I leave my door open sometimes, but damn sure ain't nobody coming in whenever they want to. Right. It's a it's a natural thing. I don't. I, 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 it, it it breaks my brain to understand why some people are okay with yeah, just let everybody in. Yeah, let everybody in because they're idiots. No, well, I'm just I'll call a spade a spade. Absolutely, they're idiots. So there's several reasons. There's several issues that are going on right now. So pull up that um, picture you got you got keyed right there, LT. Oh, the so, humongo. So hole in so there's a big gap in the you wall that three buses, <laughs> five buses through. Right. Yeah. So people are just pouring in through the porous border, and this is um, Mayorka, the, uh, the the secretary of um, Wait, Homeland where, Security. Where is that? What state is that in? I believe you know, that's, I believe you know, that's I'm not Arizona. Sure. Is that Arizona? It, 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 it might be, um, but. 
so they're just pouring in and they're they're checking them in. Oh, okay, thanks, bye. Yeah, bye, bye. But, but, bye, they're, bye. but they're twisting the law. Mm-hmm. Bo bye. Bo bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Because there there is a right to claim asylum. Yes. Okay. And the problem is, right, number one, it's supposed to be a credible claim of asylum. Yes. And which is most of these are false claims. Right. Okay. And you're also supposed to claim asylum in the first safe country you arrive in. You know, I was I was looking at that and it's not a law that says you have to claim asylum in the first safe, safe country. But I mean, why would you go from Brazil and then pass through nine different countries and then end up in the United States? Oh, asylum. Yeah. And and I want to bring up something I, I, I thought about before, you know, because th this this should make every liberal stand on their head. Sorry, I didn't mean to claim whichever political affiliation there is. But do you know why all these people are coming to America? Because we're America, we're badass. And they want to increase their carbon footprint. Oh! <laughs> Is that, is that the thing? You know, when I look at it this way... Wait, then the liberals should be against it. Exactly. We are the melting pot of the world. Yes. We're and a salad this bowl country now. was built on immigrants yes. from Italy, from Germany, from France, from all over the place. Hell, we're all freaking immigrants from way the hell back, unless you're Indian. Right. I have no problem whatsoever with people coming into this country immigrating here and wanting to be u.s citizens absolutely as long as they do it the right way i have no problem and i don't think any of us here no. might have any problem my with mom that whatsoever. my mom was canadian there you I, go. and she wanted to be a correctional officer john has relatives that yeah. are canadian so if they wanted to come down they would do it the right way my mom you know? had That's to go he, through they didn't. my right. mom had to go through citizenship and the shitty part was it was right during the Cuban Mario boat lift well, when they were just flooded with everything. So it took her like two, three years to get her citizenship so that she could serve and be a correctional officer and be a... Right. a, a, right. a, 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 a and, and that is one job I would never... Oh my in God. One. No way. I, I, thought, I, I, I used to bring arrestees to her. and I, I, would, I, I would go to the jail... Me too. And I'm like, yeah, yeah right. <laughs> son of a bitch. I, I, I couldn't be a correctional officer. I, I don't mind visiting. I don't mind dropping people off. But there's no way in hell my no, dad no. could and, be and, go sit in a jail for 12 hours a day. Yep. So what is the what is the remaining Mexico policy? All right. So um, which is which is a, I thought it was ingenious. So the remaining Mexico policy, which was one of Trump's thing, is if you are applying for asylum okay you know what i'm i'm escaping guatemala which is horrible and i'm being oppressed and i want to be a u.s citizen okay okay great all right no S not citizen i just want to move to the united okay. states i want to i want to immigrate immigrant into immigrate. immigrant yeah into the united states okay that's great we, we would love to have you okay stay in mexico while we process your paperwork right because what's happening now is, come on in, go whatever, and when we get to you, we get to you. Ten years. Ten, twenty years. I mean, the the backlog the, is ten years for federal the, judges. Yeah, the, the the judge immigration the, judges. Yeah, it, it's 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 broken. So the stay in Mexico policy was okay. That's great. We'd love to have you. If you're a great citizen, you're not MS-13. You are somebody who can actively pr be a a a participate. See. Who started I, that? I trumped it. I want people mm. in this country who are going to make this country better. I don't want Absolutely. people in this country who are rapists, who are murderers, who are drug addicts. Oh, you know what? You want to be? You want to come in? You're a physicist or a doctor? Shit, yeah, let's do it. Hey, doesn't he sound like a like a racist? Like a, no, doesn't he sound like a a right wing? A bit? <laughs> oh, I mean, doesn't he sound like a <laughs> Republican? Instead of a libertard, I you live a libertarian. Yeah, but you know Sorry, what same things. Um, our current <laughs> administration is adopting 
a weak attempt at the Remain in Mexico policy. Yeah, yeah, because because it's being flooded. Well, yeah, and but it worked. Right. Yeah. And it, it, yeah. So and some parts. Yeah. So anyway. So <clears throat> Trump instilled Remain in Mexico, the border wall, uh, restrictions on asylum. Um, they they actively went after gang members such gang members such as MS-13, all these individuals. It was during the Trump administration, and I'm not a, I'm not a Trump guy, I, I don't want to talk politics, but the simple fact is numbers speak for themselves. Lowest illegal immigration rate in 45 years. 45 years. 45 years. And, and, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be fair because I get really annoyed when the current administration cites certain numbers, you know, the, the biggest increase in GDP and, or, or lowest, you know, increase in jobs and, right, you do have to say that um, Trump was, you know, in office during COVID yeah. and COVID did have a huge effect on the numbers. Well, that, yes, it absolutely. did. Absolutely. 100%. So, and anybody with a at least a high school education could figure that out. But you know, but you got to be fair, and because I get annoyed when mm. you know our current administration claims all sorts of great things because they took over right after they took over during the as COVID it was ending, yeah. yeah, during the COVID emergency after we had the freaking vaccinations after right. we had everything else. So yeah, you know, Trump benefited for the numbers on this with. The COVID, yeah. but his policies were working. Were anyway. they were working? Yeah, right. they were, and they were non. They were se sensible policies. If if you look at the numbers, they were going down. And then when President Biden came in, he's like, "Yeah, fuck this shit. Anything Trump in instituted, get rid of. Get rid of. Right. Let Let's show these numbers. Talk about these so, numbers you got. Um. Yeah. Go ahead. We'll talk about them and I'll um, pop them up. Oh, well, that's uh, oh, that's migrant and remains. Recovered by oh yeah, yeah. We're, we're not ready for that. One. Oh okay, okay. Sorry, that's okay. <laughs> so um, a lot of these things were working, and then the Biden administration and and delivered d deleted all of them, just got rid of them, and then said, oh well, you know, we came in with a broken policy. But what I think is interesting is the Biden administration had the presidency and both houses of Congress. Yes, sir. And what did they do about the m immigration? Nothing. Zero. Absolutely nil, nonsense, nine, nothing. That, 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 I'm sorry, but it deserved the So, so, yes. to, to kind of tie this up though. Yes. What did, what, what is the effect of this illegal immigration? So, the effect of illegal immigration is that we, we are not checking the people that we want to come in. So, okay. if so we crime them, increase. We have no idea who they are. Right. We, there's been a super in big, in super big, gosh, you a huge increase of known <laughs> terrorists coming into the United States. There's been gang members. So one of the big problems, and and what are one of the big nationalities coming in? Well, they're all over the world. What? So are there a lot of Chinese yes, men there of is. you know military age? There, there is. Yeah, everybody's coming in, but I, I want to talk about one thing that I didn't talk about earlier. Because of this, because the cartels have controlled Mexico, and They're they they have brought in thousands upon thousands of children into the United States, and there's been hearings on this, and there's thousands of children that are missing. I think it was last I heard it was eighty five thousand. Eighty five thousand children are missing, and the vast majority of them are I, I, are in sex sex trade, trade or labor trade. Right, essential sex. slavery. Yeah, yeah, sex yeah. trafficking. Because yeah. if you have an open border, shitty people are going to come in and do shitty things. He got here. I was born Not here. The I was born here in Virginia. So, thank yeah. you, by the way. Um, all right. What else is coming in through the border? Fentanyl. Where does come? Where does fentanyl come from? Go ahead. We oh. didn't go over this stat, stat here. Okay. So um, go ahead. Put that one up. LT wants to put this Library up. Remains. 
Well, so, it. the the border has also been very, very dangerous for people coming in. And while uh, Trump was in office, <clears throat> we had 247 people die trying to cross the border. The first year of Biden, we had 557. The, last year, 853 people dying. Yeah. Trying to cross the border. Yeah. And one just died in our custody uh, today. You know, at a, at a, uh, yeah, a teenager died today. Put that back up so you can see the number. Yeah. Well, it, yeah, it was right reported there. today. It didn't, he didn't die today. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, if you look at these, it, the numbers don't lie. I mean, I know you can lie with statistics, but everything points to everything negative as, of, uh, as of affected by this new administration. And I think it's purposeful. Oh, let me ask you this. Why all of a sudden is all this a problem? Is, is things got have things gotten that bad in Mexico all of a sudden? No. Exactly. Well, they're not coming from Mexico. They're coming they're from, from Guatemala. They're I'm coming just saying, from is they got Venezuela, so bad in those countries China, where they Russia. see open borders and go, screw it, we're so, going to America. Because everyone wants to live in America. So we can you are the greatest country in the world. Yeah. Candidate, yeah. Bi Candidate Biden, while he's running for office, welcomed everybody to the United States. He said, welcome, we are the greatest country in the world. Come on. Everybody's like, okay, I want to well, live in yeah. America. I want to live in America. Um, the director of the Homeland Security Department at Mayorkas. Mayorkas has said that the border is closed. No, you, okay, it closes a sieve. I like it when the... Um, the press secretary talks about, oh, no, there's not people coming over the border. You just know, walking across the border? There's not people just walking across the border. And then they flash over and they show, they show like hundreds of them just walking in. And, they, and it's like, really? Do you even have a freaking clue? It, it's so bad because for a while there, they were taking their information and they were giving them a court date and they were saying, okay, you got to come back. See ya. But, but now it's so yeah. bad, it's like, well, Title yeah. 42, it's this ridiculous. is one of the differences. Title 42, you had to screen for asylum. I'll take, I'll take one. So you screen for sure asylum, so, so you actually got biographical information on right. people. Right, yeah. At least the information they gave you that you hoped was accurate. Yeah. Okay, because I don't know how many times you deal, dealt with it, um, but um, sir. what is the most common birthday in Mexico? Uh, I don't know. Uh, December 25th. No, <laughs> oh, because it's Jesus. Uh, well, second most common birthday is January 1st. At least for all the people I've dealt with really? that were illegals. Okay. They always had... So a date they know. Their birthdays they could remember because they never gave an accurate birthday. Right. They gave you a fake ID with a name that they made up. Okay, so um, Jose Gomez, right, December twenty fifth, nineteen eighty seven. Oh, you get kicked out. Come back, um, Luis Johnson. Yeah. Okay, January first, because <laughs> they're not using their actual. Yeah. Stuff. My son was telling us tonight because he works for a federal agency that deals with a lot of these IDs and the fake IDs and all. He said for 50 bucks, these people are pulling up fake IDs and they look absolutely immaculate unless you put it under a microscope and you can see the laser jet printer, which prints by dots, that dots the pictures of their face. That's the only way they can freaking tell. It's got the seals, it's got the holograms, it's got everything for 50 bucks, man, and they're getting right in. Bam, 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 bam. All right, LT, I know we're short short of time. I want you to pull up the fentanyl and opiate. Um, there it is. So, um, no, that's not it. That's the, uh, is there another one? Nope. That's it. All right, you know, okay. Oh, sorry, my bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, that's it. Oh, all right. Hmm. So anyway, crap? so um, the if you look at the <laughs> stats, a lot of fentanyl. fentanyl, which comes from China. So when we, do you remember guys, the material comes from China? Do you guys remember the Tylenol? Tylenol, right? That's there was like maybe a hundred, two hundred people right. died from Tylenol. So we're looking at a hundred thousand deaths. Just the page. It's right there. I know, but so you at home, flip the page. <laughs> I'm telling him. <laughs> We're looking at a hundred thousand deaths right there. caused by 
fentanyl overdoses that comes from China. In we, 2021. We, it's right, more than right. that now, I guarantee it. It exploded it. when we had 100 deaths, That's maybe, maybe even less, from Tylenol. But we're okay with a hundred thousand people dying. Well, I mean, the crazy thing is, well, it's drug addicts. Who cares? The last, I mean, <laughs> the last years we worked. It's the poisoning of our country. I agree. The last couple of years we worked, fentanyl was starting to really increase. Okay, and that's why we were starting to have a lot of, uh, you know, yeah, a lot of. Overdoses, the overdoses, and deaths. That's, that's where Narcan came in. Right, right. cops getting hurt and right. do the Narcan. Yeah, so, so we sort of carry. Nar I told our chief like a year before we got um, Narcan. I said, "Listen, agencies are carrying this now all over the country. Be the first in Seminole County to do it." Mm -hmm. It's because you know who didn't want to do it. We don't need that. It's because you know who didn't want to do it. I know. The thing is, he didn't want to have to test it and trade it and buy it. And, and, the, and the thing is, it's it's it doesn't hurt anything else. If you don't have it in your system, it's right. It's, it's benign. 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 Yeah. It does nothing. Nothing. Right. Exactly. I could take a freaking Narcan Narcan thing right now and go honk, right. and it would do absolutely nothing to me. Right. Have you exactly. seen the size of your notes? Wow, of course, you know, I could do like four. I could do four of them, <laughs> but it still would not do nothing. Exactly, nothing. So, so how? It, so let, let's let's wrap this up and let's uh, land this plane, John. How's Please. this going to end in the next six months? Six months? It's still going to be hell, or we're it? It's just starting. It is, and it is going oh, to it's devastate just our starting. communities. It is, but if you happen to immigrate to the United States, and you want to live in Florida, how what should you do? What should you do? Contact Kristen and Tom Clem. If you're ready to move to Central Florida, they are your number one realtor in this area because they will take care of you. Kristen, former school teacher, mother, absolutely amazing individual. Just contact these guys. If you want to move to Central Florida, they'll make sure they take care of you. And our next sponsor is Clem and Company Property Investments. Tom is a current law enforcement officer. He's also a veteran Marine. And if you're ready to sell that property or even look at buying a piece of property or something somewhere in the Central Florida area, Tom can take care of you. But if you want to get out of that house, you're like, okay, my mom gave me this house. And I don't know what to do with it. I just want to get rid of it and get the cash. Or a bunch of illegals moved into the neighborhood. Absolutely. <laughs> Clem and Company Property Investments. Nobody's illegal, John. Contact. Absolutely. All right. Listen, make sure you guys like and subscribe below. We really appreciate it. Um, we appreciate every one of you subscribers. We are trying desperately to get the 500. We are at like 442. 448. Like 48. So we are trying to get the 500. Share it with your friends. Let them know. And if you got comments about the show, how we can improve it, how we can make it even better, man, leave them below. We Don't hide always, under a rock. Yeah, we all, <laughs> we answer them. We respond to every single comment that comes in. We appreciate every one of you guys listening and watching <coughs> the show. Thank you very much. And from surviving the batch, you still, still got, got your six. six. <laughs>